All right, guys, here's uh, <clears throat> Joe Biden the other day having what he's calling a press conference where he's going to ask a, answer a few questions from some reporters. The story made it onto Fox News, but I couldn't find it anywhere else. Only Fox covered it. He's the cheater in chief. Joe Biden caught red handed with a note card that appears to include a reporter's question right before he called on her. How convenient. Yeah, how convenient. So this is like the fifth time Joe Biden has been caught with uh, cheat cards. Um, you know, telling him the it's got the photo of the reporter, who they work for, uh, what the question is, and what his answer is. He's gotten these questions in advance, and he's essentially memorized or tried to memorize the answer to them. Uh, you know, imagine if Trump got caught doing that. The media and the Democrats are all the same thing now. They're all on the same team. They're all doing everything they can to help each other. Um, it's us against them. Biden holding his first news conference after announcing he is running for re-election. And it turns out what was on Joe's card was indeed very similar to the question he got asked. It was exactly the same question. The White House says it's no big deal. Yet couldn't explain. Listen to Corrine Jean-Pierre uh, deny that uh, Biden um, knew what the question was going to be, even though there's a photographer there that caught a picture of it, him holding it in his hand, and they're going to just lie to your face. Explain why he needed it in the first place. It is entirely normal for a president to be briefed on Not normal. reporters who will be asking questions at a press conference and issues that we expect. Not normal. Trump never did that. Obama never had to have that happen for him. Uh, Clinton, nobody. Nobody's ever had cheat cards knowing what reporters were going to ask them. They might ask about. Do not have specific questions in advance. That's not something that we do. And in fact, I would point out the questions that was asked was different. Uh, it wasn't different. So the reporter didn't sit there and read her note card that would have given it away right she she knew what the question was she had to ask and because uh just you know she she like i said she didn't have it memorized she didn't use exactly the same words but it was exactly the same question so john whatever the hell her damn the black lesbian lady she's lying to you because she's saying that the reporter didn't use exactly the same words, so it wasn't the same question when it really was than what was on the card that uh, you all saw. But I guess what a liar. couldn't get a cheat sheet for this moment. So the same day that they uh, they had this press conference, it was bring your kid to work day. So some of the staffers brought their kids in. And, uh, of course, Biden didn't get a cheat sheet on what the little kids were going to ask him. And, and he can't answer the simplest questions. This is why they have to uh, give him cheat sheets and treat him like he's five years old. Because he's got no... He can't remember anything. He's senile. Plus, he's stupid. I naturally got thrown off by a couple of youngsters on Take Your Child to Work Day. <laughs> Listen to the question this kid has. Hey. Where are you? Where are you? Um, grandsons or granddaughters? Where are your grandsons or granddaughters? This kid sounds like he's two years old. <laughs> and then, uh, by, you know, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. One in New York, two in. Philadelphia. There's a three. Now, Where's three, three? I got one granddaughter who is. Oh. I don't know. Now, he's probably not counting the uh, granddaughter that, uh, you know, Hunter Biden just knocked up a stripper and she had this baby that Hunter's been taking her to court trying to disown her and not pay child support. <laughs> what a scumbag. The last country I've traveled, I'm drinking once with the last one I was in. I, um, Biden's trying to figure out what the last country he was in. He can't remember it, but some kid, little kid reminds him. Ireland. Ireland. I mean, yeah, you're right, Ireland. How <laughs> embarrassing. Sure Leader of the free world, y'all. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, here's a segment on Fox where uh, Pete Hegseth was uh, doing a story on it. Uh, check this out. And it doesn't happen often. But when Joe does take questions, well, he relies on those trusty note cards for help. Um. Oh. Uh, I got hard trouble reading this. Reuters, uh, the tangent about both. <laughs> Can't even say her name. <laughs> Reuters. 
idiot. And it's one thing to have a pre-approved list of reporters. But yesterday, Joe got caught red-handed with a cheat sheet. And this time, it had reporters' questions right... So that, that was him using a cheat sheet last time. Smack dab in the middle of it. Specific questions. Now, you can make that out right there. You probably can't. It says, the LA Times would ask, quote... How are you squaring your domestic priorities like reshoring semiconductors manufacturing with alliance-based foreign policy? This is a picture right there of the reporter. This very same LA Times reporter just happened to ask an eerily similar question. Now we're going to take some questions. First question is from Courtney of the Los Angeles Times. Yeah, so this is Operation Mockingbird, guys. This is... Um Essentially, the government's taken over uh, most all of our media. Somehow, they've done it. And I don't know if this is a reporter or if this is just some kind of actress. Um, but they definitely work hand in hand. They're doing everything they can to make sure Biden understands the question and can answer it and seem somewhat intelligent when he does. But it's impossible for Biden to seem intelligent. They, they, they can't fake that. Thank you, Mr. President. Your top economic priority has been to build up U.S. domestic manufacturing in competition with China. But your rules again, against expanding... She is reading from her card. ...manufacturing in China is hurting South Korean companies that rely heavily on Beijing. Are you damaging a key ally in the competition with China to help your domestic politics ahead of the election. No, they were both reading the same White House approved mm -hmm. question off the paper. See it? Busted. But they lie about it right to your face, even though they've been caught. Just imagining things. Because the mainstream media won't talk about it, uh, leaving 50% of the people completely out of the loop. Or did the <laughs> now we've got conservatives that won't watch Fox, and so maybe they didn't hear it either. LA Times give the President of the United States a question ahead of time. I think the lefties figured out how to get rid of Fox, how to infiltrate it, and how to just get rid of it. And once that happens, it's just going to be on the on the major airwaves. It's going to be nothing but lefty propaganda. Can't be. We're fucked. That's not just something a journalist would do, right? Well, luckily for us, the LA Times quickly cleared up the record. They're right there. So the the, the LA Times. Um, comes out and says, no, they deny it, even though they've been caught. They're in black and white, saying our reporter did not submit any questions in advance of the Q&A with President Biden. Bullshit. You'd have to ask the White House who prepared the document for the president and why they included that question. Well, we did ask the White House, and they did not have much of a response either. Look, we, we do not have specific questions in advance. That's not yeah. something well, that we, we do. We went over this. Fact. She's a liar. Let me point out the... You know, um, <clears throat> this is a huge apparatus. You know what I mean? Uh, a censorship apparatus and propaganda apparatus that's got a lot of people brainwashed. I mean, if you're not paying attention, I guess you'll miss it. Not everybody's glued to the news. You know, and most people are dumb. Otherwise, it wouldn't be possible to do what they're doing. I mean, you're talking about Joe Biden. He's been used. He's sending his son all around in, uh, into Russia, into Ukraine, into China. You know, with bringing home bags of money for him. Uh, Biden's brother. Actually, th th they've discovered that there's been 12 Biden relatives that have been making money. So apparently, if you're even just remotely um, related to Joe Biden, you're going to make money. Uh, Biden should go to prison for this shit. And all of his family members that took money. Imagine if Trump did this. <laughs> and if you're a Democrat, you're your average Democrat voter, you don't know any of this stuff. Do not believe what's right before your eyes. Not specific. Oh, so general concepts instead. Yeah, Biden needs help. Badly. You know, Joe Biden, this is the same guy who's... Um, uh, Every aspect of the government, CIA, FBI, Department of Justice, they're all doing everything they can to help Biden and to shield damaging information from the public, anything that might harm him, while they make up lies about Trump nonstop. So Biden is not, um, Democrats aren't happy that he's running, um, but they're going to try to drag him across the finish line 
And if they can, I, I guarantee you this is what's going to happen. He's going to bow out. He's going to resign due to health issues. And Kamala Harris will be your president. Four years of Biden and then four years of her. Kamala Harris. We're in big trouble. I mean, if the stock market doesn't completely crash, uh, they're going to print money uh, like crazy, and we're going to experience hyperinflation. Uh, either that or China uh, or Russia is going to nuke us because we got nothing but a bunch of diversity hires in there running everything. And it, diversity hires don't know what the hell they're doing. They weren't hired based on their skill level. They were hired based on their sexual identity or the color of their skin so nothing but bad times are going to come man if uh if biden wins and then tosses it off to kamala harris the rest of the world is laughing at us this is a, a news station in um australia listen to what they have to say about joe biden so embarrassing now let's uh, talk about the leader of the free world. Now you guys have been around the media so long, you know how this works, but have a look at this shot of what Joe Biden had in his hands at a press call just uh, yesterday. He's got the reporter's name, a photo of her, and he's got a list of the question. It's all pre-prepared. It's just a complete setup for this guy to nurse him through every public event. And you know, how does, I just don't understand how the media play along with this. Because it's all crooked. It's, it, it's quite unbelievable. I mean, uh, how many days... Everybody can see it, guys. He's done a press conference where he, he's gone into it and... Nothing. Everybody can see it, but Democrat voters, they're oblivious to it. We're going to have Trump and Biden again running against each other. And I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea. Knowing that he's going to be asked... We get four more years of this guy... It'll probably be about five days of Biden, and then he's going to toss it off to Kamala. Some, That's what will happen. Early questions. I mean, this uh, it never happens. It's all staged, and uh, I mean, it's it's a protection racket for the bloke, surely. Yeah, it's unbelievable stuff, Mark. There's even another one where he's got a cheat sheet for a meeting and they're listing who's in the meeting and the top one says, you, he's got to, you. Okay, that's me, I'm in this meeting. Yes, <laughs> embarrassing. I, I remember back in the great days of Ronnie, right? Anyways, I don't know what to do, man. I think we're all screwed. We'll have to see what happens. Vote like your life depends on it, because it does. All right, guys, I had to get the hell out of here. Follow me on YouTube, Rumble. I'm on Twitter, too. I don't know how much longer I'll be on YouTube. They're going to get rid of me, but I need you guys to follow me on Rumble. All right?